Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft Excel has a new template out that's really cool. This ties in to their new data types that I've been showing you. So I'm going to pop over to Excel just for a second, just to show you where we're at in this training. So I've been doing videos. I've covered the stock data type. I've covered the geography data type. And those were the first two new data types they came out with recently. But since then, they've come out with these other data types. So I showed you just a couple weeks ago, I typed in some different dog breeds and used automatic to find out information about dog breeds. I also used the food data type. Well, today I'm going to take a look at cities. If you notice, I don't actually see cities, even though I see geography. And even though I see zip code, zip code will give you different information than geography, just so you know that. But today is going to be cities. So before I even do this, I want to show you on this Microsoft support website, it says make big life decisions with the city and university data type. So where you want to move and where you want to go to school are major decisions. Those are big life decisions. So instead of running through the data types today, I noticed they came out with this relocation helper template. So that's what I'm covering today. So it's going to use, though, the city data type, and it's really cool. So I'm going to click and use this first, and then I'll come back, and I'll tell you what you have to have to make this template work. So I'm just going to go download it. It downloaded in the bottom left corner. I'm going to double click it. It should pop up in Excel. I looked at this already and there should be three worksheets when this starts running. And sure enough, I did click on enable editing. Let me move this around just a second. Good enough. So the three worksheets are welcome, compare cities, and plan your move. I'm not going to sit here and go through welcome because welcome is just going to tell you roughly how this works, which I'm about to explain anyway. So if you click on compare cities, it's the same as clicking on the next worksheet. So this is where everything happens right here. So Seattle will always be in here by default, but if you don't want Seattle, you just type over it. But briefly, I want to show you that Seattle is information that you're going to see. So we get into the economy, then we get into income, education, marital status, and these other fields, which is really cool. So let me just add a couple other cities. Here we go. Now, when I put in Atlanta, this is intentional. I'm assuming it wants Atlanta GA, but if you notice, it didn't do anything. My bad, you got to hit enable content if you get that message. Now let's try Atlanta. And it's not going to return Atlanta because it doesn't know what Atlanta you want. Because apparently there's more than Atlanta GA, obviously. Atlanta, Texas, and Atlanta, Illinois. I'm going to select Atlanta GA. Now it says busy. It'll throw the map in in just one second. There we go. Let's do a couple other cities. Let's do Jacksonville, Florida. I'm going to do the FL to tell... Microsoft Excel that I want Jacksonville, Florida, in case there's another Jacksonville. And it ends up making it Jacksonville. And notice that icon. Let's also put in San Diego just to mix this up. I'm going to tab over. Let's see if it does San Diego. And finally, Boston. San Diego, California. Same thing for Boston. Boston, Mass. Here we go. So we've got our cities in here now. Scroll down. You can see population. Population per square mile. I'm curious as to what Boston is. And sure enough, there you go. Um, keep going down. There's your economy stuff. I am going to take a guess that this is correct. So I want to look this up. The unemployment rate in Atlanta back in February was 3.1%. I got that from the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics. And now with COVID-19, everyone's unemployment's up. Population below the poverty line. 
taxes. There you go. Per capita income. So some very interesting information in here. Then you get into education, marital status. So if you were to click on plan move, this is cool. It will jump you to the third worksheet at the bottom. And I actually like what they did here. You can, they've got hyperlinks to jump you around the worksheet. So obviously if I scroll down the screen, seven plus weeks before, then we get into five to six weeks before. So if I come and click on five to six weeks and I'm at the top, it's just a hyperlink to that area down below. Go back to seven weeks, change address, day of move. So you can select and unselect these right here. There's your filter that's running. Just come in here and click and that'll clear it. So I'm going to do this one more time. Four weeks before, turn off the filter. That's all they have running here. Really nice though what they've put together in this template. So now I need to go back though and show you how I got it and exactly where it worked. So let me pull up that website again. So I will put a link to this Microsoft URL in my YouTube description. I'll also put chapters or bookmarks in the YouTube video so you can quickly get around to the different sections in this video. And if I go all the way to the bottom, I'm going to do the College Decision Helper template this week. It is August 3rd, 2020 today. I'll do that this week. But there are your requirements and availability. You obviously need to have a Microsoft 365 subscription, but what I found interesting is they want you to make sure you have a personal Microsoft account, which means not one from your work or your school. And right now you have to be an Office Insider. I'm on the beta program, uh, which is free for me to join. So I get stuff early, which means though, this will roll out to Microsoft 365 subscribers. They just came out with it just recently. So I thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful week. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will definitely cover the um, university data type for the college decision helper template this week. Uh, this is actually really cool. I've already played with this once. And I'll also, just so you know this, I'm going to come back here and cover these other new data types that they have in Microsoft Excel. And in case you're saying, well, it doesn't look like a lot, automatic will automatically do all kinds of stuff, including planets in the solar system. Um, so automatic figures out what you're trying to find out and pulls in that data type. Thank you for your time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.